It's Tuesday, June 10th, 2014. Wanted to make a real quick update video on the workbench here. Um, I didn't make a video of me putting together the top portion just because I wanted to get it done, wanted to get out of the way. I actually finished it all yesterday. Went to record a video and then uh, discovered the SD card that I had was uh, not working. So uh, I have several of them and for some reason uh, three of them were not working. So I finally got to the fourth one that worked and then uh, it was too late and just said, ah, screw it. So anyway, here is the uh, finished uh, bench. See, I got a couple, uh, I got a piece of carpet there. I'll show you the other bench in a moment here. Uh, but the bottom here, I've got all my ammo, pretty much. All the ammo down there, and media, that kind of thing. And of course, there's my reloader. Um, put some pegboard in the back. I did finish, the, as mentioned, the top. Um, again, you can go by those plans. Mine is a little shorter than the plans call for because I wanted 24 inch uh, between the, the work surface and the bottom of the top so I would only have to use two pieces of, uh, of that pegboard there because that stuff's like eight bucks for a uh, four by uh, two foot sheet. So uh, again, pegboard just on the back there. You can clearly see that. We've got our 19 inch TV in the middle there. Um, that is just mounted on some L brackets and uh, one of the center two by fours used for the pegboard didn't use an actual mount. Um, it's in there real solid. Got another work light here and then under here you can see there is the Apple TV. Uh, of course got some knives, uh, tomahawk, an axe hanging there. Um, got some things I still need to review. There's some knives right there and of course these here. Got a little tool there and a uh, sharpening stone that I need to review all those. Uh, so I've still got uh, several weeks of reviews to do, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, again, here's some uh, cleaning supplies for the guns, some empty ammo boxes, some brass, some of the uh, dies there, reloading dies. So, of course, your hammer. That is your bullet puller, basically. Um, and we've got our gauge and some other little hammers up here uh, again those are all bullets there so I'm pretty well stocked for the time being because I've got thousands of rounds of 9mm and probably a couple thousand of 45 and a thousand of 45 long cold so I've got uh, more there some more right there primers of course three pounds of powder some lube cleaning supplies those are just empty boxes I usually put ammo in those 9mm and of course, uh, just some gun boxes there, some empty bags. Uh, I did also, one thing I did do is I, you know, I bought two sheets, the 6x8, I think it is, or I forget, of this just carpet, it was like 17 bucks. I did glue, I cut and glued one to the top there, which kind of, uh, you know, wanted to but didn't want to. I wanted to because, you know, if you, you pop a primer or something like that, you miss a primer, it'll catch it real easy. The bad thing with the carpet is it will catch all the, you know, if I have any spillage with my uh, powder, it will catch that. And of course it'll get dirty, but not a whole lot I do gets dirty, everything I do on the mat. There's a remote for the TV, one for the uh, Apple TV, which I also just use my phone for the Apple TV usually, control it that way. Um, of course my scale, that's just for the knife videos, and then I have my powder measuring scale there, calipers. All that good stuff. Again, these are empty boxes. I keep uh, just various things in here, such as different uh, disc for the, the powder and, and all that stuff. Put those back. Um, yeah, it turned out real well. I mean, I'm uh, happy with it. I almost wished I would have made it bigger. And it's pretty big as it is, six feet by 30 inches deep, but you see, I've already got it completely full. There's really not a whole lot. Uh, now I've got plenty of work surface there. There's not a whole lot more I can really do. I mean, it's, it's completely filled up. Hard to believe I had a lot of this on that bench in the garage, and it's only 6 feet by like 26 or 24 inches. Now, what I also decided to do, if you subscribe to my other channel, my Hot Wheels channel, is I moved that bench down here as well. That's just a Harbor Freight bench there. Um, I had a lot of the reloading stuff on this bench. Um, at the bottom, and again, uh, you know, this bench is pretty much completely full. I've got uh, painting supplies and, and all that. 
compressor down here. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I, I had, it, it was nice and neat, but it was definitely, uh, you know, I definitely have a lot more room now. And I can actually put some things down there. So I spent uh, most of the day moving this down here and moving some other things out of the, uh, the old room, uh, which, you know, if you watch either this channel or other channels, I'm, my other channel, I mentioned that my daughter's going to be moving back home. Well, she actually signed a six-month uh, addition to her lease, so she's not coming back home immediately. But this way I'm prepared, and, uh, you know, I don't have to move all this stuff later on. I still have some things up there, but this was the main, main thing, this bench here. Uh, you know, I've got a little light there. I've only got, I did purchase another one of these lights that I was going to put on this side. But, I, you know, it's 50 bucks for the light, another 20 for the uh, bulbs, and uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got another piece of carpet. But what I had done was the remaining from the carpet from the top, the work surface, I just used it over here. Because this, you know, this, this is a lot shorter and it fit perfectly. So, I've got some carpet returns and things like that, so I'll get some uh, money back on uh, you know, everything I purchased. Uh, again, this bench, basically, uh, one thing I did, uh, I, I didn't actually, I didn't realize, I didn't have two by four by eights. Mine weren't eight feet long. So, I must have had six and a half. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't actually check, but when I went to actually buy a eight footer, I realized that it was a lot longer <laughs> than what I had already had. So, because I had to, I was one short. Um, so if you do get the two by four by eight, you pr probably will only need the 15, but I would still stick with like 18, just because you may have one that's severely warped, you may uh, miscut something. You know, it's always better to have more um, because it, you know, it's just no fun running back and forth to the store, especially if it's not close. So all in all, you know, it's uh, one four by eight sheet, sheet of plywood, um, and I've got all that in the specs. Um, and 15 2x4x8s. By by um, I would probably go with 18. And you can build it just like this, minus the pegboard. Now again, mine, I made it shorter, 34 inches. It's about the same height as this one. So I can actually use the office chair over there if I'd like, instead of having to stand up all the time. Um, there, the furnace finally kept uh, shut off. That's one thing I didn't realize with uh, putting this down in the basement is the furnace. So I was watching the video I just uploaded the other day, Sunday night or whenever it was, I'm like, what is that noise? I thought it was my camera. I thought something was screwing up at the camera. And then I forgot uh, old Mr. Furnace. It's right around the corner there. So, because it sounded like static. You can see it's a lot quieter now. So I will have that to contend with. Uh, so, I'll, you know, right now it's, uh, it's definitely going to uh, run with the AC and all that. And in the winter, um, you know, it'll probably be running. So I'll have to contend with that. Uh, also, we'll have to contend with the washer and dryer. <laughs> but uh, we usually do laundries Thursdays and Fridays, so I uh, shouldn't have too big of a problem there. Um, but again, 4x8 sheet of plywood, uh, 15 2x4x8s, and you should be able to build exactly like this, minus the pegboard. Um, now, if you were going to do, uh, I would. Uh, if you're going to do the pegboard, I would, to make it easier on yourself, so if you wanted to cover everything like this does, I would shorten up those side, these two, two here, I would shorten those up like I did. They're uh, quite a bit shorter than what the plan calls for. The plan calls for it to be probably about a, I think it was six or seven inches higher. So, you know, basically, I'm looking at uh, 34 and then, uh, not 24, but I'm at, uh, I think, 26. So, uh, so 34 down there, or from the from the work surface to the bottom, and then 26 up. I think it was 26, I don't really remember. But, uh, so 70 inches instead of uh, whatever, um, you know, whatever they were going for, uh, which I forget what it was. I don't know. I'm not, I'm sorry, not 70 inches, 60 inches. Jeez. Um, I, I think they were calling for, so I'm at 60, I think they were calling for 67 or something like that, I forget, uh, or 71 and 8, I don't remember. But you, you can figure that out, you can kind of customize it as you, as you go on. And the top just goes together just exactly like the, the bottom, and the, uh, or the work surface in the bottom. The exception is, you'll notice that the, 
the actual end caps or the trim pieces or the, the rims as they call them actually go on the inside of the 2x4 versus the outside like they did here. Of course I've got this filler piece in there but um, you buy a couple extra boards if you want to make it flush like I did in the front because you know that's doubled up right there. This portion right here is doubled up. Um, so you know, take that in consideration. Definitely buy, you know, maybe buy 20, you never know. Um, you can use it for other projects. You can never, uh, you know, never any reason to throw them away. In fact, you can see I've got some spare, just, you know, 24 inch blocks or whatever that I've had there, some of them from, the, from this project, that I keep there. You just never know when you're gonna need something like that, so. Anyway, that's gonna do it. If you have any questions or comments, post those below, subscribe, and thanks for watching.